Okay guys, today I want to look at the format um, function and we got to find a table that has a date to start here and so I'm going to look at the uh, sales orders and there's an order date in it so let's take a look at that table let's do a quick select from it okay so here's the order date um, I need to pick a date that I want to pick a more recent date so I'm going to get the max order date just to take a quick look so we've got orders all the way up to May 31st 2016 so let's go ahead and um, filter to just stuff from 2016 so we're order date um, let's go back here drop a year function on and equals 2016 okay so now we've got orders from 2016 so what I want to show you is how to format this date and so I'm going to pull in just the order date by itself run that and there's a whole bunch of, that are the same number and now let's look at the format function so the format function you put format in there and then you put the column you want to format and then you put the format you want in there and there's a bunch of different formats I want to start with just day and see what happens so if I run this and there's a good one not to do you need to put ticks around it not quotes all right, so let's run that. And you can see that we got a different date format. Now, I have a bunch of date formats here that I want to bring in and kind of show you the different codes you can use. So I'm going to drop those in here. And these are custom formatters. So we could actually build up our own, um, own format. So let me run that. And you can see here I've got the two-digit day and then I've got the year we can use like MM and now we've got who that must be minutes let's go down here and take a look the small MM yeah it doesn't tell us let's try the big MM and now we've got the day on there so as we scroll down let's go see if we can get a different day you can see that we've just reformatted everything um, to be a little bit different and you can even toss in MMM you get a written one instead of slashes if we put a space and then DD in there now let's go ahead and put a comma and there you go so that's how you use the format function you can also do this on decimals too um, but today I'm just going to do it on dates so if you have any questions just post them below I'll also put a link in there to the uh, format, custom formatters from Microsoft. So.